for the good life. Yes, I want to thank you, oh Allah. Thank you for the good life. Good life. Allah, I wanna thank you for the good life. I leave it on you. Professor Naibi is Mr. Muswin. He was uh, everything. I think he drank Muswin. He hates Muswin. He sees Muswin everywhere. He's the voice of Muswin on the radio, on the television, at uh, important uh, functions. Mus Reznabi was there. And um, he has uh, ensured the unity of Muslims in the southwestern Nigeria. And this is also he has uh, projected uh, to, the, to the nation through the uh, Nigeria Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, where he was and is still uh, a very important personality in the national organization. Let uh, me thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying alhamdulillah for the opportunity uh, that uh, he has afforded us to be part of history, to uh, come together in this documentary, to try to preserve the memory and to memorialize uh, our progenitor, our icon, uh, I don't want to say our oracle in the field of Arabic and Islamic studies, Professor Dawood Olatokumbo Shitu Naibi, uh, officer of the British Empire. The best legacy one can give to one's children and grandchildren is not money or any material things accumulated in one's life, but rather a legacy of character and faith. Hello everyone, my name is Tawheed Alim and the documentary you are about to watch details the journey of one of the finest scholar and leader of international repute, Professor Dawood. Olato Kumbo Shitsu Noibi. Welcome as we cruise on this journey together. Today is the day to celebrate an academic icon and a scholar of high pedigree. Words come short to celebrate and indeed honor a true son of Nigeria who has given his best to the cause of peace and made notable contributions to scholarship. Dawood Olato Kumbo Shitsu Noibi, whose parents hailed from Ijebu Imoshi in Ogun State, was born in Sapele in the present-day Delta State of Nigeria. His name, Noibi, attests to a spiritual heritage as this was the name his grandfather was popularly known for being the first to hold the position of Naibul Imam, Deputy Imam of the Old of Ijebu Imoshi, a cluster of more than 50 settlements in what is now the Ijebu East local government area. Of Ogun State. The grandfather's first name was actually Subair. Eventually, his family became identified as the Noibi family. Still on spiritual heritage, Dawood's father, Chief Shitsu Noibi, was the Imam of the Ijebu Mosque of Sakpale and at the same time, the Noibi, Naibul Imam of the entire Muslim community of the port town. He bore the title Chief because he was one of the judges at the native court of the town. The academic trajectory of Professor Dawood Olato Kumbo Shitsu Noibi is indeed noteworthy. Following his primary school education, he spent two years, Forms 2 and 3, at the secondary commercial school, where he had been admitted straight to Form 2. However, he had to abandon schooling for a five-year period when he had to sign up for apprenticeship in dressmaking and also briefly cabinet making. Well, my name is Dawood Olato Kumbo Shitu Noibi. Uh, although I was born at Sapele uh, in the present Delta state of Nigeria, 
My parents hailed from Ijebu Imushi in the um, Ijebu East local government area of uh, Ogun State. Um, uh, my father was the Imam of our local mosque, which I grew up to learn uh, um, was called Ijebu Mosque at Sapele. Um, and he was at the same time the Naibi of that is the deputy uh, imam um, of the the Muslim community of uh, Sapele. Now, my grandfather was the first Naibi officially uh, designated the Naibi of Jebu Mushi. That is why our family is known even up till this day as Naibi family. His name, his first name was actually Zubair, but more popularly known as uh, Naibi. Although I was uh, made to attend the Ilekeu as we, we know them um, in those days, for some reason which I cannot myself remember or know at all, um, I, I got withdrawn or I stopped going, let me say, uh, when I was very, very young. So that when I reached uh, my um, teenage period of my life, I realized that I didn't know enough of, um, of the Quran and of uh, Islam to be able to practice my religion uh, as well as I should, so I made up my mind to relearn um, the, um, the few short surahs of the Quran, um, even though I had to do this through um, uh, transliterated uh, uh, versions of the, uh, of the surahs. It was uh, an elder uh, or rather older cousin of mine who later became a doctor, Iftar Kodri, who taught me this. So uh, that was the first kind of challenge that I, I can recall I had. A challenge to my religion and a challenge to my educational aspirations. Hi, Baba. And in line here, what I talk on Baba Professor Dahud, uh, Olato Kumbo, she to know be on the movie be a jabu machine, Lati Doko. Wa Baba Tari, Baba to be more, Dako come out to be more Gatomaba, and it to be Baba Baba on one penny, he only know it be a coco, Nija Bimushin. Baba wa Shitu Naibi. Professor Daoud Naibi, Oje Omo Bibi Ijebu Imushi. Lati Ashebo Ati Shebo Ewa, Omo Lua Bini. Eniti Oni Ife Ilue Ijebu Imushi. Pupo, Pupo, Pupo Ni. Gbogbo awon ise gbogbo ta de nse ni lo gbogbe lo nda si lo n papa lo fun wa ni awon amoran lori sirisi due to his determination he went on to further his studies and in due course obtained the following qualifications 1 Teacher's Certificate Grade 3 in 1958 from the Muslim Teachers Training College at Ijebode, Nigeria. 
2. Arabic Teacher's Certificate in 1959 issued to successful candidates by the Western Nigerian Regional Government. 3. Teacher Certificate Grade 2 from the Government Teachers Training College, Suru Lagos, Nigeria in 1963. 4. London University General Certificate of Education, GCE, 1963. 5. BA Degree in Arabic Studies from Cairo University in 1969. Even after its first degree, it did not relent but went on to obtain MA Degree in Islamic Studies from the American University in Cairo, AUC, in 1972 and a PhD degree in Islamic Studies from the University of Ibadan, Nigeria in 1984. He exemplified the willingness to give life all it takes to succeed for the reason that for about seven years during the period of his undergraduate and postgraduate studies in Cairo, he worked as a translator and broadcaster with the Yoruba language unit of the Egyptian Broadcasting Service, Cairo, Egypt. Professor Dawood Olatokobo Shitsu Naibi is currently serving on many boards both within and outside the academia. He is on the board of trustees of the Muslim community of Ijebu Imoshi and Sultan Foundation for Peace and Development. He is a member of the Nigeria Interreligious Council, NEREC, and the General Assembly of the International Islamic Charitable Organization, IICO Kuwait. He is currently serving as the Chairman, Tekaful Islamic Insurance Advisory Council, TAC, of the National Insurance Commission, Nigeria. Additionally, he is a Fellow of Islamic Studies, Nigeria, FISN, and a Fellow of Islamic Academy, Cambridge, FIAC. As it is to be expected, Professor Dawood Olato Kumbo Shitsu Noibi has received a number of awards both within and outside Nigeria, including Officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, OBE, DSC Crescent University, Abeokuta, Nigeria, DSC Odudua University, Ikpitsumudu, Ocean State, Nigeria, the prestigious Editor's Lifetime Achievement Award by the Muslim News, London. The Muslim Association of Nigeria UK Honorary Membership Award, Award of Excellence by Nigerian Union of Journalists NUJ or your state chapter, Certificate of Recognition as Messenger of Peace in Recognition of Outstanding Contribution to the World Alliance of Religions for World Peace and Cessation of War, awarded by the Heavenly Culture, World Peace and Restoration of Light HWPL, Seoul, South Korea. It is quite applaudable that Professor Noibi's achievements and accomplishments went on at par with his marriage. He is happily married to Alaja Silifats and Nike Noibi, and the union is blessed with children and grandchildren. Professor Dawood Olato Kumbo Chitu Noibi is my teacher my mentor, my murshid. He has been a mentor to me since I came in contact with him in 1976 on my admission to the University of Ibadan for certificate course in Arabic and Islamic studies. He taught me uh, tafsir and uh, he has not seen since then having impact on my life. I see him as a role model, somebody who practices exactly what he teaches. He's very committed, very patient to a fault, and is very tolerant. I uh, thank uh, Professor Naibi for including me in among his list of uh, friends. Very happy to be able to contribute this little bit of it. We call it testimony, if you want to use a Christian word. Uh, this bit of witness to my, uh, my acquaintance with a person whom I, highly, I have very high regard for. I have a high regard for him as a, a teacher, a high regard for him as a, a scholar, and a high regard for him as a religious leader in his own right. So I can say that Professor Naibi is a wali. And I've said it at several fora 
that I know that could be in the world, people who are more God-fearing, who are more pious, who are more dedicated to the elastization of uh, Islamic Dawa. But the best Muslim I've ever met, and I still say, repeat it, there could be, and there may be, and there should be, better Muslims than Professor D.S. Naibi, but I've never met one. So, as a scholar, he has impacted on my academic career. No wonder he is enjoying the mercy of Allah, even at his age. And this is why he is being celebrated the way we are celebrating him. May God preserve him for us. First, he's an academician, a professor of professors. He has trained so many icons now. Uh, the other thing we buy from him is that he doesn't know how to fight. He is not a fighter. He doesn't fight. He doesn't even know how to fight. It's very difficult for some of us to learn that, but we are trying. But so far, he's not a fighter. And it's what we're fighting. And that is why he's one of the few and real lecturers you could insult and get away with it. Hello. Professor Naibi uh, is a father, a leader, and a role model. Professor Naibi is a person people really like because he combined so many things together. It was the humility he had. Uh, he, for you, to, for Professor Naibi to be annoyed with you, Ah, it will take years. Whatever the level, the height of uh, uh, your problem, your crime, personally, will continue to admonish you. For him to be angry about you, it will take years. So, I, to the extent that I told him one day uh, that I will never ask God to give me that. Uh, Treats. Uh, I cannot behave. Uh, my own thing is that if you are if you are to be annoyed, be annoyed. I said to the president, it will, ne will not be annoyed. He will be, be talking to you in a very gentle manner. He will explaining things to you. He will use Quranic verses and this experience to calm you down. Baba will carry everyone along. Try to find the find out the opinions about what we need to do and make his own input. But once we have determined this is what we want to do, then he goes ahead. That means he carries people along and at the same time is firm in his decisions that he takes in the interest of Islam. Daddy is a very kind hearted man. He loves his children. He is very religious and he has brought us up in an Islamic way. He is very kind-hearted to a fault and will do everything possible to support us as his children. Hi everyone, thank you for staying with me up to this moment. If you've been following the detail of this documentary, one thing you'll be able to deduce from everybody we've interviewed so far regarding Professor Dawood Olatokumbo Shitunoibi is the fact that he's extremely patient. Some would even say, I don't pray to have his level of patience. A significant virtue, if you ask me. Professor Dawood Olatu Kumbo Shitsu Noibi has been a picture of hard work, resilience and hope. We celebrate him today as always. May the Lord keep him. <laughs>